All right, the next control that we're going to take a look at here is the combo box control. I want to create a little drop down menu where users can pick from a group of options, a selection of options. So I've got department. I'm going to go to department. I'm going to go back up to developer and I'm going to grab the combo box control. All right, now this looks a lot like the text box control that we dropped in earlier. It's just got the two little kind of tags on either end of it and choose an item. Okay. Text is different in there, which is nice. You can distinguish between the two, but very similar in look. Now, if I get out of design mode for a moment, you see it's here. Here it's quite a bit different. I got a little drop down where I'm eventually going to have some options for the users to pick from. Let's get back to the design mode. Now, what do you think? Where are you going to go to change the attributes or to add options to this thing? Think back to the little radio buttons. How did we manipulate those? Well, make sure that your control is selected. Back to developer. Let's activate properties. So this opens up my content control properties window specific to the control that I'm in, this little combo box. Now there's all sorts of goodies in here. Well worth your time to poke around and see what's available to you. But what I'm going to look for is down at the bottom where you get your drop down list properties. Now they've got one in there already. That's default. Choose an item. Great. No, I don't want it actually. I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to start adding my own values here. So I'm going to go to add. This is for department. We'll say my first department is IT. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to add another one. Let's do sales. Let's hit add. Let's do training. Oh, we got HR. We got accounting and so on. We can continue to add whatever we need in here. I'll go ahead and hit OK. Let's go ahead and hop out of design mode again and take a look at my little drop down. Got all my different departments in there. Users can pick what they need to all through this little drop down. Just another control within your Microsoft Word forms. Let's go back to design mode. Again, that was just place your cursor, developer, got my little combo box control up there. Right there, right there. So I want you to complete this one. Get department in there. Okay, Get your handful of departments or whatever you want. But then turn around and do it for meal as well, for the meal preference. Create one that has a drop down where they could pick from whatever meal. Chicken, beef, uh, salad, soup, veggie, whatever you want to put in there. Create another little drop down here. Do it for meal preference as well. And get that department one as well. So try that out. Then we'll take a look at one last control here. But get that done first.